Hello, social studies scholars. Mrs. Olson here. Our last and final project for the sixth grade social studies year is titled Ancient Civilizations Final Project. So let's start with our learning target, which says that you will be able to apply ancient civilization knowledge into media form. Now let's get a little bit of a preview on what that means and read this part here you get to be the expert on a topic about ancient civilization. The first thing that you do is just choose a subject that we did not study, conduct research, and show off your expertise in a slideshow form. So these links here, this one is for the project directions, which we'll get to in a moment. This one is the scoring rubric, or you can think of it as a chart that shows you how you are going to be scored. And then this here is a document that is going to help you with how to search and how to research information. So first things first, the project directions, which I already have pulled up. So here we begin at the top underneath the category labeled purpose. It reads, the research you complete for this activity will enable you to broaden and reinforce your understanding of the characteristics of ancient civilization. So what you are going to do, your goal is to create a slideshow that teaches about an ancient civilization characteristic. Keep in mind that I do not want one that you have already studied, that we have studied together. I want something brand new. Okay, so here's what you are going to do. This is the process, kind of step by step. First of all, you need to choose one, only one, ancient civilization that we have studied and that interests you the most. So here's a list. We have studied Mesopotamia in the fall. We then went into Egypt and then China india and lastly greece so these are the five ancient civilizations that you get to choose from so after you have made your choice then you're going to think about one aspect of this civilization that you would like to learn more about so here i have a whole bunch of examples and if you don't like these examples or ideas you can choose something else um, it might be a good idea to run up by me just to see. So you could send me a message in the inbox uh, through your IA campus dashboard if you want to run that idea by me. Otherwise, you might think about studying and researching more about art. Specifically, maybe you want to know about Egyptian painting, or maybe you want to know about pottery or baskets or jewelry. Once again, these are just examples. If you have something else that fits the art category, you can definitely do it. And if you're not sure, you can ask. Okay, a, another category or aspect of a civilization that you could study and learn more about is culture. So example might be music from that civilization, from those peoples. Maybe you want to focus on a book or some type of literature. Maybe you are looking into the types of games that they played. Maybe it, they are children's games. Maybe they are sporting games. Maybe it's a game like um, chess or marbles or something else. Okay? Maybe you want to look into cooking and food or a certain type of dish that is... Um, uh, connected to that ancient civilization. I love cooking and food, so I think this one might be my number one choice. But uh, that's just me. Or another example, you could choose a certain type of ritual, or maybe there's a religious ceremony that you want to focus on within one of the five ancient civilizations. Okay? Now, some of you guys really, really like war, and that's okay. Um, so examples with war, maybe you want to focus on certain tools that they use to fight battles, uh, armor, 
horses or animals were sometimes used in battle and in war, and that one could be really interesting. Some of you guys like to learn about battle tactics and strategies, or maybe you put your focus on a famous leader, okay? Now, when we studied ancient India, many of you were very interested in the, um, the canals, the sewer systems. Um, some of you were interested in the toilets that they even had. So maybe you focus on one of those for technology or architecture. Um, architecture could be a famous building, a certain structure, the types of homes they lived in. And then we can even expand this to include things like boats or different kinds of traveling vessels. Okay, so once again, these are just examples from, for you to choose from. Um, but you're only going to do one aspect of one of these ancient civilizations. Okay, so here comes the work part. Conduct research by visiting websites and recording important information. So it doesn't matter to me where you record your information. Maybe you want to do it on a Word or a PDF. Some of you guys are getting good at... Um, uh, writing information on assignments in a Google Doc, and that's okay too. And if you want to do the old-fashioned pen and paper, that is good too. I still write on pen and paper. Okay, so you want to use at least three different resources, but one of them has to be from a museum, okay? And on the tips sheet for researching, I gave you an example of a museum that you can start looking at. All right, moving on to the slideshow. So what has to go in your slideshow? Now in parentheses, I put that you could use PowerPoint, which some of you guys might have PowerPoint, or you can use Google Slides, okay? If you have a different program that um, does slideshows, why don't you send me a message or an email asking if I can open that type of file, okay? It says requirements are listed below. So you want to have background information. So you want to give me details about this subject that you are teaching about in your PowerPoint, okay? Second part, you want to make sure that you have visual artifacts. So you might find an image, you might see photographs, there might be paintings of this characteristic, but you do want to have visual artifacts within your PowerPoint or within your slideshow. You also want to talk about the contributions to society that this characteristic uh, made. You want to have an explanation on why you chose this subject and what was the most interesting part that you learned. And finally, it says write a three question quiz placed within the slideshow. So I would like the quiz placed at the very end of the slideshow. And I want you to write one question per slide with the answer on the following slide. Um, if you have questions and what I mean by that, please let me know. Okay, so that comes to the end of the directions of me explaining the directions for the project there is going to be another video on tips for researching all right everyone good luck and i look forward to seeing what you turn in